بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. We are today here at Preston Mosque here with Brother Kifah who were taking us through the practicality of washing the body. Keep in mind, Alhamdulillah, everything has been revised and everything is in within the accordance of the Quran and Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Also, in this video, we'll be taking you through the washing of the body, the shrouding of the body, the janazah prayer, and also the burial. Before we begin, make sure to be wearing the correct equipment for hygiene purposes, and then cover the aura of the deceased. And then, of course, say Bismillah. The next step is to make sure that the water is at a good temperature not too hot and not too cold. Once the water is at a good temperature, then we're going to begin by cleaning the private areas. Performing the washing of the deceased consists of cleaning the private areas, performing wudu, performing wusul three times, also it is recommended to push firmly on the stomach in case there's bloatation there, anything that needs to be pushed through. So that way we can ensure that everything down there is clean. Before washing the private areas, make sure to be wearing gloves or holding a cloth to avoid touching the private areas. So inshallah, we will begin now by washing this area. Make sure to keep the awra covered at all times. After you have ensured that the private areas are all clean, then we will begin with the wudu process. Make sure you have someone here to help you inshallah. We will begin by washing the right hand three times. Make sure to get in between the fingers. Then move on to the left hand. Once the left hand has been washed three times. Bismillah. Three times on his mouth. No need for water to go inside. Three times over the nose. Now we'll begin washing the face three times. Keeping in mind that it goes from the tip of the forehead to the chin and from ear to ear. Now we'll move on to the right arm and make sure to get from below the elbows to the fingertips. Three times, then move on to the left arm. Once again, from the fingertips past the elbows. In one motion, just over his hair, from underneath, back forth, the ears as well. Onto the right leg, make sure to get all in between the toes, the heels and past the ankles. Onto the left foot. And that's the wudu completed. Now we'll move on to the ghusul process and that consists of washing the body and starting from the right side and moving and ending on the left side. Before beginning, remember to avoid getting water inside of the eyes 
the nose, the mouth and the ears. Bismillah. And then moving on to the left hand side. Making sure to keep the aura covered at all times. Brothers and sisters, just a reminder to be careful and be very gentle with the body. Sometimes the body parts do stiffen up. That's the first usul completed. The step of usul will be repeated another two more times, making it a total of three, and then we will finish off by drying the deceased. We will now replace the wet towel with the dry one. Ensure to keep the aura covered at all times. And the drawing will now begin. Once the body has been fully dried, we will now transfer the body over onto the shroud bay. When transferring over to the shroud bay, we found what works best with us is using something of slippery material such as plastic. Inshallah, we will show you guys this process now. This plastic will then be placed right underneath him.
the helper will then hold this side. A board of such will be used as a bridge. That's it, perfect. The shrouds consist of three large sheets, depending on the body. As we can see here, we have one, two, and the third one, which has a hole in the middle for the head. The easiest way we found to move a body over to the shroud bay, we simply use this as a bridge, the plastic underneath, and this plastic here we pull, and this can be done comfortably with two people. The plastic board can now be removed, placed back in its position. The plastic will now be removed from underneath the disease. Now we are ready to start shrouding the deceased. The first cover will come over, covering the aura. And that hole that I showed you guys earlier on, this is the part here. The towel then will be removed. First sheet. Over, tuck in. Followed by the other side. The best thing to do is keep it as firm and tight as possible as we don't want anything coming undone at the cemetery. Second sheet goes over. Tucking underneath, keeping it as firm as possible. The other side of the second sheet. And then the final sheet. Brothers and sisters, always remember, when you're about to shroud, to start always from the right hand side and then move on to the left hand side. Once that's done, now we'll begin by tying. So the best way we've found to tie, so that it may be easy to untie in the grave, is to start by a knot and then move on to a bow knot. And this is because it can become very difficult to untie in the grave. No. The second one we place at the knees. A knot and then a bow knot again. No. Third one, just past the wrist.
Then the fourth is just below the shoulders. And then the final one. And now the body is ready to be put into the, the transport casket. يا نفس إن لم تظفري لا تجزعي آه. Now transferring the body over into the transport casket If there's two people, this is the best way to do it We're going to begin by shifting the feet over And then we're going to work our way down Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim that way. And grab onto these knots. Bismillah. Make sure that it's seized. This place nice and central. If adjustment is needed. And now the deceased is ready for burial. <laughs> The steps in this video is a procedure for an ordinary death. However, there are some circumstances or situations where we are unable to wash the body. Therefore, we recommend that you return back to your mashayikh and scholars to get uh, advice regarding how to wash in those situations. Now we'll move on to the next step and that is the Janaza prayer. <laughs> Okay, brothers and sisters, we'll now take you through the Janazah prayer. Now, it's very important to keep in mind that if the male, if the deceased is a male, then the Imam should, say, should stand at the head of the male. And in the case that it's a female, he should stand at the center of the female. Now, the Janazah prayer consists of four takbirat. In the first takbirah, the Imam would read Al Fatiha. And at the second takbirah, we read Al Ibrahimiyya. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Ali Muhammad. And at the third takbirah, we make dua for the deceased. Then the fourth takbirah, we will give salams on both on our right side and left side. And it suffice to even do one taslima. Allahu Akbar. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. The Janazah prayer has now been completed. And now we'll head to the cemetery. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, we are up to the next step, which is now the burial. Uh, we've reached the cemetery and just a couple of things before we start to remember. The first thing is, is make sure that you read the dua when you enter the cemetery. The second thing is, is that the women are not to follow the janazah. After the janazah has been completed, then the women may come insha'Allah and visit. And the third point being is, is that we must avoid stepping on the graves. Insha'Allah, we will make our way to the, to the grave right now insha'Allah. So inshallah once we're in this position here uh, we want to make things as easy as possible and as quick as possible uh, we want to place the body on the opposite side to which they're facing so depending on where the Qibla is for example in the position we're in now the Qibla is that way we want to place the body on this side. What's going to happen is we're going to have our helpers and we're going to grab each end of the rope. This is just a dummy. This is not a real body. We're going to lift up and we're going to say Bismillah ala minnatu rasulillah. We're going to bring towards us and we're going to face the body to the Qibla. We're going to find our support and we're going to step down. 
with the feet going in first. And then moving on to the head. Once tucked in, you can lean on the wall. Once in this position here, then your helper will now step out. So from here, once the body is in position and it's facing towards the Qibla, we want to start by untying the knots. And just leaving them in their place. Make sure all the knots are untied. Alhamdulillah, once that's all done, then we're ready now to put the timber on top and cover it. Uh, different areas will have different sort of uh, systems to cover. So inshallah, this is just a very simple and basic way on how to, on how to bury. Now we'll place the timbers on top inshallah. Alhamdulillah, that's the completion of the burial process. Uh, just a piece of advice, uh, when we enter the cemetery and when we're, when we're actually attending a janazah, we must almost remember to, to actually use this time, to take advantage of us being in a place like this. The Prophet ﷺ tells us, remember death often the destroyer of pleasures. We shouldn't come here while there's a janazah going on or in the cemetery to talk about our life, to talk about work, to talk about money. You know, we should use this to, to, to remain silent, to ponder, and to get closer to Allah Azza wa Jal and, and remember where we're going to eventually end up inshallah. Uh, inshallah this video was of great benefit, inshallah you guys can learn and inshallah it's a sadaqah jari'ah for us and a knowledge, a knowledge that is passed down and that can be practiced inshallah. <laughs>